हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद चैप्टर नंबर थ्री ह्यूमन रिप्रोडक्शन वी हैव स्टडीड द इवेंट्स ऑफ सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन चैप्टर नंबर वन चैप्टर नंबर टू इज स्पेसिफिकली डेल विद ऑल द सेक्सुअल इवेंट्स हैपनिंग इन द फ्लॉरिंग प्लांट्स नाउ हेयर इन चैप्टर नंबर थ्री वी विल स्टडी द सेक्शुअल इवेंट्स हैपनिंग इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी सो द टर्मिनोलॉजी विल बी मोर हेयर सो प्लीज study these chapters thoroughly because this chapter from unit 1 it is going to cover lot of marks in the board examination so before starting up with the gametogenesis let's understand the structure of male reproductive system prior to that some more terms are there and they generally being asked by examiners in the board examination and you have studied in your lower classes so i just want to recapitulate them to you Prim primary sex organs are the ones which directly helps in the gamete formation so if you talk about testes and if you talk about ovaries so testes they also directly produce the gametes and the gametes produced by them are the sperms and of course they are produced in the human males if you talk about ovary ovary produces the ovum which act as the female gamete so primary sex organs are the one which directly produce the gametes so here testes and ovary they both are the examples of the primary sex organs now secondary sex organs are the ones which do not directly help in the sexual reproduction but their presence is very important so once we will be starting up with the discussion of male reproductive system and female reproductive system the terms will be more clearer to you let me cite here one example epididymis is a structure which is found in the male reproductive system and fallopian tube is a structure which is found in the human female reproductive system so these structures they are not directly helping out in the production of gametes but yes their presence is very much important that is why they are known as secondary sex organs now what are secondary sexual characteristics so secondary sexual characteristics are those which are basically seen at the time of puberty teen age or adolescence these are the body changes that happens in the girls and boys when they enter into the puberty so you might have noticed when you have entered into the puberty phase in the boys uh, pubic hair develop body became more muscular voice became low pitch whereas in the females menstrual cycle get started fat develops around the waist pubic hair develops so all these changes which happens in the males and females as they enter the puberty period these are all secondary sexual characteristics so you must know at least two to three secondary sexual characteristics and all these three terms should be clearer to you now we are moving ahead to the male reproductive system now before we come to the diagram of male reproductive system please go through all these terms these are testes scrotum seminiferous tubules testicular lobules sertoli or nerve cells lide or interstitial cells vasa efferentia reti testes epididymis vas deferens and of course these are our accessory glands which will not directly help in the reproduction but their presence is ultimate so their names are seminal vesicle prostate gland copler's gland which is also known as bulbo urethral gland now let's start with the description in the case of human females there are two oval shaped structures which are present extra abdominally means they are present outside the body now why are they present outside the body is also an important question for the boards testes they are located outside the body because testes are the sites of 
spermatogenesis means they will form the gametes and gamete formation in the human males it happens as a slightly lower temperature so the normal temperature of the human body is 37 degree celsius and in testes the temperature is 35 degree celsius this helps in undergoing the spermatogenesis that is why they are present outside the body now these testes they are present in a bag like structure which is a fold of skin which is known as scrotum written here now testes inside it contains various testicular lobules so these are the testicular lobules which are present in each testes right now if i draw an enlarged diagram of the testes then there are various testicular lobules inside the inside the testes and now inside the testes we have numerous coiled structures which are known as seminiferous tubules so these seminiferous tubules are the coiled structures very important there are two types of cells which are found in the seminiferous tubules first cells are your male germ cells male germ cells are found in the seminiferous tubules along with that other cells which are found they are known as nerve cells so seminiferous tubules they have the cells called male germ cells. These male germ cells will undergo meiosis and it will result in the production of sperm. Nurse cells as the name itself is suggesting that they would be taking care of the male germ cells. They would be providing them with the nutrition so that they can divide with ACE and functional gametes will be formed. Right now we have studied that testes they are present extra abdominally they are covered in a skin which is known as a scrotum each testes contains testicular lobules so these are the testicular lobules which are drawn here inside the testicular lobules we have seminiferous tubules and inside the seminiferous tubules what do we have yes we have two types of cells male germ cells that will divide to form the sperms and nerve cells which will take care of the male germ cells now as sperms are produced in the seminiferous tubules after their formation they will come in this coiled structure and this coiled structure is known as reti testes after reti testes the secretion comes in the vas efferentia. From vas efferentia, it goes in the epididymis. From epididymis, it goes into vas deferens. So, all these terms should be learned by you and the connection should also be learned. Like if a 5 marker question will come, then you will be able to describe in your own words if you have learned the terms. Now, your secretion is there in the vas difference the sperms they are yet not functional they will be functional when the secretion from these accessory glands will mix in the sperm and semen will be formed so once vast difference it extends from each testes and as it extends up it meets these three accessory glands which are seminal vesicles prostate gland and copler's gland now in neat and sometimes in the viva also this is being asked that which gland is unicellular structure so please note prostate gland is the unicellular structure other glands they are two in number means they are present in pair so if you talk about seminal vesicles if you are talking about copler's gland they are always in pairs now we will use the NCRT diagram to clear your concepts. Till now we have studied about testes. Testes they are the oval shaped structures present extra abdominally. Scrotum we have also read that this is the skin pouch which contains the testes. Right? Now we have read that once 
स्पर्म्स आर फॉर्म दे मूव टूवर्ड्स द अपर साइड फर्स्ट दे कम इन टू वासा इफरेंशिया विच इज नॉट शोन इन द डायग्राम बट इट इज अ पार्ट देन एपीडाइडमिस दिस ग्रीन कलर्ड स्ट्रक्चर विच आई एम कलरिंग राइट नाउ दिस इज द एपी डाइडमिस नाउ आफ्टर मूविंग अ हेड you can see that epididymis it is leading into a tube like structure and this tube like structure which i am coloring blue right now this is your vas deferens now you can notice as i am moving ahead seminal vesicle is the first accessory gland then comes the prostate gland and then in the end comes the bulbo urethral gland so see here very carefully in the diagram only that vas deferens it is moving ahead and meanwhile it is getting mixed with a tube like structure it is getting mixed with the seminal vesicle means the secretion will come from the seminal vesicle and it will mix with the secretion of vas efferens and ultimately a duct will be there which is known as ejaculatory duct which will contain the secretion of seminal vesicle and vas deferens so important is that you should learn learn this name as well ejaculatory duct so ejaculatory duct contains the secretion of seminal vesicle and vas deferens now as the secretion moves downward with the green color hair the ejaculatory duct has been colored green later the secretion of prostate gland also comes now as prostate gland will also secrete this will also come in the ejaculatory duct along with the secretion of bulbo urethral gland which is also known as coplers gland now when all these secretions they get mixed up the sperms they become active and here the sperms they are mixed with the fluid of these three accessory glands so at this time it will be known as semen and in males there is one peculiarity that this semen it gets mixed up with the urethra that means the urethra which generally carries the urine in male body it also carries the semen and this urethra you can see here it is moving it is long and it is moving downward it is opening into a structure which is known as penis penis on its outer side means at the end of it it has a fold which is known as glans penis and penis is quite a muscular organ in the human male it opens outside with a pore like structure and this is known as urethral meters this meters not only contains urine but it also carries sperms thus human males they excrete their liquid waste in the form of urine but along with that they pass semen also which is a collection of sperms along with the fluid now along with this we need to study the function of all the three accessory glands this question is very important for boards it is asked that seminal vesicles what do they produce the seminal vesicles their secretion is rich in fructose and it provides a sperm motility prostate gland secretion is alkaline in nature and this alkalinity helps in reducing the acidity of the female genital tract coplers gland they help in secreting the mucus and of course it helps in the lubrication this is all regarding the male reproductive system in next video we will be starting about female reproductive system and then we will start with the gametogenesis thank you